Hallo Leute und herzlich willkommen zurück bei einer neuen Folge nach 500 geführten 1000 Jahren und einer neuen Aufnahmetechnik bei The Walking Dead Staffel, ne Quatsch, Episode 1? Episode 1, so. Ähm, ich habe es jetzt angefangen wieder, ich laufe hier mal ein bisschen rum. Ähm, ich muss jetzt von hier wieder anfangen, weil ich hatte auch den Speicherstand verhauen und was weiß ich nicht alles. Ähm... Es ist eine ganze Weile her, dass ich es gespielt habe und ich möchte es wieder weiterspielen, weil jetzt die Staffel 2 oder Episode 2 rausgekommen ist. Und die möchte ich dann auch spielen im Anschluss. Und ehe von der Episode 2 alle Staffeln raus sind, haben wir vielleicht das hier durchgespielt und dann können wir direkt im Anschluss weitermachen. Und das wäre ja ganz cool, habe ich mir gedacht. Und deswegen machen wir jetzt einfach mal hier weiter. Seems like an all right dude. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Ein ganz kleiner Moment nochmal. Ich muss gerade nochmal was checken. Ihr habt gerade. Okay, ihr habt gerade kein Schwarzbild, aber. Äh, ja. Äh, Momentchen. So, dann kann ich mich nämlich. Ich habe gerade mal einen Hotkey gesetzt. Damit ich mich. So geht's wieder? Ja. Damit ich mich während der. No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nein, keine Kinder. Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. <laughs> How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katja wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. So, ich habe mal schnell den Hotkey gesetzt, damit ich mich mal muten und entmuten kann wegen, während der Cutscenes. So, wir haben gelernt, dass er ein Boot hat und dass seine Familie auch schon von der Zombie-Apokalypse ein bisschen ähm, mitgenommen wurde. Aber anscheinend sind alle noch da. Traktor. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the US Farm Bill though. I'm good. Okay. Duck. Reden wir doch mal mit ihm. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hmm. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Sometimes it's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. 
Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Dann gehen wir doch mal in die Scheune. Der Sean ist ein guter, also der schaut auch vertrauenswürdig aus und oh, jetzt sind wir schon in der Scheune und also ich würde schon sagen, dass wir ihm trauen können. Aber seinem Vater You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Ah. <sighs> Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What the f What? Go! I'll get my gun! Was ist jetzt? Was ist jetzt so? So machen wir ein bisschen laut. Wem sollen wir helfen? Scheiße. Get out. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry. Sorry. Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I panicked. Look at him. Remember that next time you panic. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. You 
I've got that ride to make it if you want it. Oh, man. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! We're trapped! No! 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 Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I. I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Cleo. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus! Oh, oh man. Ah! 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 
Okay. Just great, thanks. Uh, guys. Everybody down. Stay quiet. Wow. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? Whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Ah! What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible, so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel, not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it, and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. 